April 28th, 1925. My dear Mr. Fitzgerald, I had read and hugely enjoyed your book before I got your letter, and I honestly had not thought of a lost lady when I read that passage to which you now call my attention. In 1925, Willa Cather received a surprising letter from F. Scott Fitzgerald. His novel, The Great Gatsby, had just been published, and he was afraid he had unconsciously stolen his Daisy character from her heroine in A Lost Lady. Cather was famous by then, author of O Pioneers, The Song of the Lark, My Antonia, and she just won the Pulitzer Prize for a war novel. She assured Fitzgerald that he had nothing to worry about. It wasn't plagiarism. They were both responding to the same mysterious thing. I suppose everybody who has ever been swept away by personal charm tries in some way to express his wonder that the effect is so much greater than the cause. And in the end, we all fall back upon an old device and write about the effect and not the lovely creature who produced it. After all, the only thing one can tell about beauty is just how hard one was hit by it. Isn't that so? Cather was first hit by it many years before when she met a young woman named Louise Pound at the University of Nebraska. 1.30 p.m., June 15, 1892, Lincoln. My dear Louise, I am just about halfway through a nasty job of packing, and the idea has suddenly occurred to me that after going up to your place tonight to see your new Worth costume, I did not give voice to my admiration. It rather overcame me. The general effect struck me so hard that I lost track of the incidentals. I find that I have four very distinct impressions left with me. The neck, the train, the color, and what the whole affair set off. I suppose you would object to my saying that you looked very handsome last night. I think she had a very deep crush on Louise Pound and that that letter is one of the primary pieces of evidence that Cather loved women, that she was oriented toward loving other women, not loving men. And she also knew that society judged her or would judge her adversely for that. She said, it's so unfair that friendships between women should be labeled unnatural. So she knew what she was talking about. I think that letter to Louise Pound is, it's really heartbreaking because you just feel it as an unrequited love. You can feel Louise's distance, or at least Cather's perception of her distance from her. And I think lots of people have written letters like that. Most of us will never have them published, it's true. I certainly hope that the person to whom I addressed such letters in college didn't keep it. This epistle is infinitely sillier than one I tore up last March and did not send you, but I am tired and just haven't physical energy enough to tear it, so you will have to pardon my frame of mind and lay it all to the weather. Yours, William. Louise Pound became a famous athlete and the first woman president of the Modern Language Association. She stayed in Nebraska. Willa Cather pioneered her way east, from Lincoln to Pittsburgh to New York, finding friendship along the way with women who returned her affection. <laughs> 